one of the big stocks you're betting on in the new year. But uh, Devane, just stay on. We'll come back to you in a bit. Another stock we want to talk about is Dixon Technology. Now, the Empowered Committee for the Performance-Linked Incentive Schemes for Large-Scale Electronic Manufacturing has approved incentives amounting to 410 crores for mobile manufacturing to Foxconn India and to Paget Electronics, which is a subsidiary of Dixon Technology. Uh, to find out more, uh, we speak to Atul Lal, the MD at Dixon Technology. Uh, Atul, thanks a lot for joining in. Good morning and greetings of the season to you and your entire team at Dixon. Uh, can you tell us a little Good bit morning. about uh, this PLI approval that has come through for Foxconn and for Paget? Uh, what does this mean for you in terms of incremental business? The last time we spoke with you, you were a bit circumspect, a bit cautious about uh, the mobile manufacturing business itself. You were talking about a growth slowdown. Uh, so, can you tell us what the way forward would look like post this PLI approval? So, I think it's a very, very significant positive. Uh, this is the second approval we have got. The first uh, cash inflow has already happened. And this is for January to March quarter. Uh, there was, uh, as I had shared last time, there was certain level of skepticism on uh, disbursement under the PLI scheme. I think that has been overcome. And this definitely adds to the comparative edge that India is already building in mobile phones. Uh, in our case, uh, in, in the current year as well, we have already achieved the thresholds both for CAPEX and the incremental revenue prescribed under the PLI scheme by the government. And the applications up to September quarter for the current fiscal have been submitted. Uh, as far as the business is concerned, we are uh, almost on the verge of closure of a couple of large contracts in mobile, which is going to be both for domestic markets and the global markets. Mm. However, as far as the demand is concerned in the current quarter, post Diwali, uh, in mobiles has been slightly muted. Mm. Okay, all right. Uh, good morning, Mr. Lal. Uh, well, good to hear that you have achieved all the, uh, you know, the revenues as well as the capex with regard to this scheme for FI23. For FI24, if you could highlight, what are the targets out there in terms of capex that you have to put down and revenues as well? So we get a sense about you know, what's, what's the target for the next year? So as far as CAPEX is concerned, under the PLI guidelines, hmm. we were supposed to make a CAPEX of 200 crores uh, over a period of four years. That's up to 24, 25. Okay. Uh, but we, we uh, incurred that CAPEX in the very first year. So uh, CAPEX threshold was already achieved. Okay. Uh, as far as the revenue threshold is concerned, uh, the upper ceiling is 6,000 crores for the next financial year. And uh, we feel that we are going to cross it uh, by miles. That is uh, FY24? Uh, FY24. Okay. And you're saying you'll cross that by uh, miles, some, by some distance, right? Significant. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lal, you uh, briefly alluded to that weakness in mobile phones, mobile phone sales. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? I mean, how is that kind of panning out and uh, what's, the, what's the forecast? How much is that as a percentage of your business? So, post Diwali, uh, they were, uh, uh, demand has been muted, it has been slow, mm -hmm. uh, both in the global markets and the Indian market. Uh, our, our revenue contribution from mobile in the current fiscal uh, is going to be around four to four and a half thousand crores, uh, which would be approximately uh, somewhere between 28 to 30 percent of our overall revenues. Mm -hmm. Okay, four to four now. Uh, just, just one more thing, uh, Mr. Lal. Uh, Twenty-eight to thirty percent of overall revenues. Wh wh why do you think uh, there is this uh, this lull? Does it kind of tie in with overall sort of broad uh, sort of broad-based weakness in the the, the lower end uh, of the economy? As many companies have told us, uh, even otherwise, I mean, consumer durable sales. Could you give us a picture? How are sales doing? And what's your own prognosis? What kind of uh, work are you getting from? Uh, companies and uh, just just an overall sense. Demand has been muted. Mm. It has been some kind of a mixed bag across uh, various product categories in consumer deliveries. Finds mm. uh, uh, there is uh, that muteness in in the categories of mobiles, IT products, LED televisions. Mm. Uh, however, in the categories of washing machines, telecom devices. And uh, lately, I also find demand to a certain extent in, in lighting recovery. So it's been some kind of a mixed thing. But overall, there is a muteness. 
So you said that you're expecting revenues of four to four and a half thousand crores in the mobile business this year. Earlier, you had spoken about four and a half to five thousand crores. So is it fair to assume that you're scaling down your guidance? There is a bit of a yeah scaling down. Okay, uh, so this is important. You're scaling down your guidance in the mobile business. Would you also want to tell us what this means for your operating performance? Because you're sitting on about 50 crores of operating profits uh, in the in the quarter gone by. Uh, do you think there would be more pressure just for mobile business? I'm talking about. Would there be more pressure in the second half? So I've uh, the current quarter there would be some pressure, uh, but in the quarter four uh, we see. Uh, a significant increase in the order book, and we'll see a major recovery in Q4. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Lal. Uh, uh, you know, uh, last year I think you did around 2,800 crores in mobile business, which goes to around four, four and a half thousand crores in this year. For the next year, what kind of a number you're looking at on the mobile division itself? What kind of a growth? Because the street is banking on that. So for us, uh, mobile is going to be a significant trigger for growth. Yes, could I, you quantify it, sir? I feel that we should double it almost. In the next year. So next year you'll do around 9,000 crores. That's right. Okay, all right. And what does this mean in terms of overall margins for the company? I think for this year you're guiding margins of around 3.8% odd. That's for the entire entity. Uh, for the next, how do you see this uh, shaping up? So margin profile would be somewhere in the range of around 4 to 4.5%. For FI24? That's right. Okay. So this 9,000 crores is for the mobile business that you spoke about for next year, right? And four to four and a half thousand crores for this year. Just trying to understand if the situation in China gets worse, which I guess, you know, going by the headlines, it could. Would that put this uh, revenue at risk for you? So in short term, there, be, there may be some risk uh, on account of supply chain challenges. Mm -hmm. But uh, on an overall basis, it, it uh, gives us a significant opportunity. Because the China plus one thesis gets activated even more. Hmm. Sorry, just uh, just a couple of more things. Uh, you, you know, where is the uh, doubling, uh, uh, Mr. Lal, going to come uh, come from? I mean, is there a new line coming up? Sorry, just a basic question. Uh, ex expanded capacity. So we, yeah, we are at uh, uh, almost final stages of concluding a couple of large contracts. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we should be announcing sometime next month. Okay. And this additional business is going to be generating this revenue for us in mobiles. And uh, for that, uh, some investments have already been made okay. uh, in, our Noida, in our new Noida factory. And some more would be incurred. Okay. You will announce these uh, maybe next next month, you said? Ho hopefully. And, and this is where bulk of this uh, is going to come from. Uh, it, it, you said uh, you uh, when we last spoke. You said the top line uh, this year could be between fourteen and fifteen thousand crores. Uh, is that is there any change to that as well this year? FI twenty three. We still maintain that we're going to be somewhere around that. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Lal. You know, since we're talking a lot about the mobile division, which goes to nine thousand crores odd, and you've indicated you've already made some capex and investments at peak levels, the mobile division with the investments that you've made, what can it contribute? So, mobile division, the next day we are targeting somewhere between 8,500 and 9,000 crores. Yes. And the mobile sale would keep growing at around 25 to 30%. And for that, you've already made CAPEX. You've already done the CAPEX, is already done. Largely, certain balancing CAPEX is going to be made, but largely the capacities have been created. And mm -hmm. you can grow by 20, 25% in the mobile division from that base of around 8,500 crores for the next two years at least, or more? That's right, for two years. Two years. Okay. I just have one more question. You said that there is a near-term risk to your guidance because of the supply-side issues in China. Are you already seeing some supply constraints because of the uh, pandemic situation in China? So, not as yet. Uh, we are keeping uh, the China situation uh, under lens. Okay. So, we have not had any uh, delivery issues till now. Mm -hmm. But in case, as uh, the experts are predicting, that uh, the pandemic situation in China is going to is going to worsen, that might impact. But as of now, uh, we have not been impacted at all. Okay, all right. We we'll leave it at that. All the best, and thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, that is Dixon Technology. Important information. They are scaling down their guidance for the mobile business uh, because of the muted sales and the demand situation. Uh, so earlier they had guided for four and a half to five thousand crores of mobile revenues, and now they are scaling it down to four to four and a half thousand crores. Uh, Devin Choksi is still with us, Devin. 
Uh, the stock is at a little over 4,000 rupees. Is the risk reward unfavorable for investors? Would you be cautious 